time to make another little quick video about some of the modules I'm building in DAC factory in development of the backpack dyno. Still laid up here with my broken knee, but it's getting better. Um, anyway, here's what I'm working on now. This is the weather station component of the backpack dyno. This is a module that will measure uh, barometric pressure, relative humidity, and temperature in real time from three sensors. Um, this is used to then calculate uh, air density, and it'll use this real-time air density to compare to a standard air density from your best day of jetting. So when you get all your carburation dialed and you know what the atmospheric conditions are that day, you could enter the barometric pressure, temperature, and humidity from that day, and this gives you your air density from your uh, best jetting. These are then real-time values that are uh, pulling from the sensors. You can see them changing a little bit. And that's calculating uh, air density in real time. And that's showing the relative air density. So right now I'm about 103% more dense uh, than my uh, standard values. And that would say I need to run 3% uh, richer jets for the same performance. I also have a chart down here that um, is recording the relative air density. So in the backpacking dyno, this would be scrolling along as you're tuning. Um, here's the actual uh, sensors. So there's the LabCheck U6 Pro. Um, and what I have here, this is the All Sensors brand, uh, Barrow A4V, absolute pressure sensor calibrated for the barometric pressure range. It's actually a little expensive to get a decent barometric pressure sensor. There in the middle, we have the Texas Instruments LM35CAZ silicon temperature sensor. And there we have the Honeywell HIH5030 humidity sensor. All these sensors give a, a voltage output relative to the uh, input they're measuring, so they're pretty easy to configure. I just have them set up really raw here, running on the USB 5 volt power supply. I also have a little jumper here to actually measure the USB supply voltage um, to compensate for the ratio metric output of some of these sensors. So, yeah, that's what I have going on. Um, yeah, they're not too hard to hook up, and you just need to kind of know some math to uh, run conversions. For example, there's the function for calculating air density um, from the three sensors in real time. So as you can see, it's pulling from three sensors and just some math. But anyway, that's what I got going on. Uh, more to come.